It's April 29th, 2012. Today's video is brought to you by the Human Centipede Part 2. Because, let's face it, the world really doesn't have enough horrible, disgusting, gross, uh, butt-to-mouth kind of movies like Human Centipede 2 is. And let's face it, you know, uh, the, the Human Centipede, uh, obviously, the first one was a huge Emmy snob, or sorry, Oscar snob, snub. And, uh, you know, when they came out with the second one, uh, they were like, all right, we got to up our game. Let's get this thing noticed. And that one got snubbed as well. And, and I'm not sure why, because it was in black and white, and the artist won Best Picture, and that was in black and white. So basically I'm comparing the artist to the artistry, which is the Human Centipede 2. I'm being completely sarcastic and not, not I'm sure that that's stupid, because that movie sucked. And I'm not saying it sucked because it was a horrible movie. It sucked, literally, because it was just, it was bad. It was just a bad movie. No. Glenn Thonis, I hope you saw it. If you watch my videos from uh, about early May last year, when Tara and I went to SMU's graduation, Glenn Thonis was there. I'm going to give him a call right now. I just want to ask him about... Uh, the Human Centipede 2, if he's seen it or not. There's a chance that he won't pick up because he usually doesn't. We'll see. Hi, you reached the notice. I'm not. I'm not. You missed it. I'm going back again. Hey, Glenn, it's Lucas. I figured you might not pick up, which is fine. Just wanted to call you and leave a voicemail letting you know that one, I am videotaping this voicemail that I'm leaving you right now, and I'll put the link on your wall if you'd like. And two, I just watched The Human Centipede Part 2, and if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend that you do, because um, if you thought the first one was, you know, the Oscar snub blockbuster that it was, um, then you would, you would thoroughly enjoy the second one, which is clearly not any more disgusting and not as disgusting and not as horrible in any kind of way and even more superbly acted than the first part. I thought you might like to know that. I thought you'd enjoy this little voicemail when you wake up or if you ever check your phone and such. Anywho, man, I uh, hope you're doing well. Have a good evening and I'll talk to you later. Peace.